that kind of like that really that lit the fire because what it did was it proved to me that a human being and a beautiful innocent looking girl could very very well control every single aspect of her behavior she could treat you like ghouls and the only thing separating her from being that sweet girl and being the monster from hell is the fact that she didn't value that guy that she was with so she because she didn't value me and the only time she felt the value was when she she had to experience she had to experience the loss you know because all that time she didn't need the relationship why because she had the validation because she knew she felt worth a lot because she knew she had me and when i seriously pulled out all of a sudden that validation there was like a vacuum and what kind of guy is going to be that good to her? Nobody. I mean, nobody in his right mind would do that. So this started me on the path towards realizing that there's a lot I needed to learn. And by the way, ultimately, I realized that it's not about being a jerk either. And it is about finding the right person, too. However, even if you're with a saint, there's so much to understand about this whole field. And, and, and it really is about finding the right balance between giving her the right emotions so that the chemistry is strong and she, she really wants you and not getting into the land of abuse. Yeah. And I think a, a, a woman whose high self-esteem doesn't need to be abused in order to appreciate that she's with a good guy. i got about three comments to make on everything you've said just okay. before we go to commercial. Yes. The first comment is that it sounds like you come from a place of pain, and right. that's something that I can relate to wholeheartedly. The second comment I want to make, and this is something that in my book, Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, it's the idea that a woman, when she is a mother, will not give advice to her male children so that he becomes the type of man that she herself would be attracted to. She raises her male children to be her ideal husband. Right. And every time a guy listens to that, he ends up doing the same behaviors that generally turn women off. Especially in our society today, where men and women are living in a different dynamic than in the quote-unquote good old days. Absolutely. And the third thing I want to mention is how the same woman, when she perceives a certain value in a man, will completely modify her behavior so that it doesn't matter what her rules were. It doesn't matter what her social norms were. Right. When she's with a guy who, does not, who either doesn't count, meaning he, those rules that she's used to don't apply, or when he displays an above or a higher than average level of value, she will conform. She will follow the frame. She will be led. She will be right. willing to adopt any new set of behaviors Right. in order to keep that man of high value. That's right. And I can totally relate to everything you say. We do have to go to a commercial break. When okay. we come back, we'll be talking a lot more with Michael, the dating wizard, and we'll be talking about going beyond the pickup lines. Here on Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles. Frank Talks is sponsored in part by the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. Guys, do you think that your father has a great sense of style? Are blue jeans and a clean t-shirt your idea of dressy? Then you need the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. Does 1982 live in your closet? Do you own clothes that have more holes in them than a slice of Swiss cheese? Then you need the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. Look at the contents of your closet. If you think that navy blue and dark green are your colorful clothes, then you need the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. When you pick up your date for that night out on the town, does she cringe at your wardrobe? If you think that ladies might wonder if you're colorblind, or if your girlfriend has to remind you to wear a clean item of clothing, then you definitely need the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. The Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar and Telephone Consultations, only available at franktalks.com. Would you like to sponsor Frank Talks? Visit www.franktalks.com and contact Frank, because he has to be. Sponsorships are always welcome, whether it's prize giveaways, parting gifts for our guests, studio equipment, accessories for the Frank Mobile, or a host of other wonderment. Help Frank Talks make the world a better place, one interview at a time.
Frank Talks is sponsored in part by Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, a man's guide to the emotional needs of women. Ladies, does your man squash your inner vixen? When you ask him to repeat what you have just said to him, does he look at you like a deer caught in the headlights? Does he think that leaving the game on while you talk to him is a good idea? Is his favorite phrase, yes dear, you are absolutely right. Does wife or girlfriend mean boring and dull to him? Ladies, don't you wish that he knows what you mean when you ask him if you look fat? Then you need to buy him the book, Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, A Man's Guide to the Emotional Needs of Women. On sale now at franktalks.com. You're listening to Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles. And I'm Frank because I have to be. In studio with Michael, the dating wizard. How are you doing there, Michael? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Just before we left for our last commercial break, we talked about the idea of going beyond the pickup line. Yes. Michael, what are your thoughts on the concept of going beyond the pickup line? Right. And uh, this is a really important topic because what happens is a lot of guys they want to um, they want to replace what I call or what is called a vibe with a magic pickup line, and uh, like the line will never replace all of the, the all the subtleties in your behavior and your thoughts and your mannerisms. And the thing is, is that even though you can't establish the most powerful vibe overnight. It's worth developing that vibe, even if it takes you a few weeks, a few months, because that is going to come across so much more powerful than even the best pickup line that doesn't also have the vibe behind it. And so what do I mean by the vibe? What I mean by the vibe is too many guys, as soon as they start an interaction with a woman, if they actually get to that point of overcoming the fear, because that is quite a accomplishment too, uh, you know, it's getting over the fear. But let's say a guy is able to overcome the fear and start the conversation. Still not enough, because what happens is most guys, they see a beautiful girl or a girl that they find beautiful, and they're thinking to themselves, how do I get their number? You know, how do I get her email? How do I get her to the coffee? How do I, how do I get her into bed? And the problem with that is, as soon as you're focusing on that, you are creating an atmosphere in your own mind of, I have to get. And you, human beings are very, very sophisticated creatures. We're primitive, but we're also sophisticated. And we can kind of smell out and sense out when somebody's trying to get something from us. Even if they think the world of us, the fact is they're trying to get something from us. And likewise, a human being can also tell when somebody is not trying to get something from us. And so as soon as somebody wants to get something from us, the defenses go up, the resistance goes up. Why? Because we don't want to lose something. We, we want to get something, right? So the best thing a guy can do, and this gets right back to creating the vibe as opposed to the pickup line, is forget about the second ahead of the second. Forget about, and certainly forget about the minute, and certainly forget about the hour ahead of the second. Just focus on the moment. When you live in the moment of an interaction with a woman, you're not thinking about anything. You're not thinking about taking. You're not thinking about getting anywhere. What you are is feeling that specific moment in time because it's the only moment that exists anyway. So let's say, for example, I'm on the bus and a woman is getting on and she's, she's looking for her change and she can't find her change. And I'm sitting near the front of the bus, which sometimes happens. So, and this comes from a real-life story, too. So as she's, like, looking for the change... I'm just thinking to myself, you know what would be funny? I'll tell her she's homeless, you know? And I'll go, hey, if you're homeless, you can just admit it. And, like, she'll look at me, like, you know, there's a whole bus full of people over there. And she's thinking to herself, like, who is this guy? But it's just something that came up in the moment. You know, I could have said something like, it's one of those days, eh? I'm not trying to get her into bed. So... As soon as she feels that, she's disarmed, she's relaxed, and if I happen to be a little playful and funny at the same time, I'm boosting her state as well. 